today's video, like the sit down video, is a little more casual because I am on my vlog camera. I'm just sitting on my bed and I did kind of like a follow me as I attempt to do passion twist clip recording but I forgot to do an outro and so I'm kind of doing a sit down video where I just do more of a voiceover and I insert the clips of everything that I did. I did my own passion twist because I wanted to not spend money on getting it done because I was wearing it to a festival which was probably like a three to five day window where I was going to have my passion twist so I didn't want to spend a lot of money because it was such a short time frame. These are all the things that I'm using. This is the hair that I have. I will put the information down below. I got it from Amazon. Um, then I ordered these little beads to put on my hair as well. This crochet needle because I want to do kind of the crochet method where I loop it through my hair without using the rubber bands. Um, this I am using from my mom because I forgot to pack hair lotion. I just brought the travel size versions of pattern, shampoo, and conditioner. I'm going to use a sleeve-in conditioner as a little bit of a moisturizer. Um, some hair serum because it has jojoba oil in it. I'm not sure if I'll use the styling gel, but this is my favorite gel in case you are looking for one. This Cavani edge control to keep my edges intact as I do the twist. And of course I just ordered a nightcap as well. So the first thing that I did was I washed my hair, obviously. So I just shampooed and conditioned my hair. I did not deep condition it that time around just because I didn't have a deep conditioner. Any shampoo or conditioner will work. Like I said, I only used Pattern Beauty because it was small enough to fit in my weekender bag since I was out of town. I was pretty much using what I had. And then once my hair was blow dried straight, then I, well not straight, but just, you know, blown out. Then I put in a little bit of the hair serum, which I don't think I filmed. I put in the leave-in conditioner, and then I also added hair milk, and I separated my hair into sections and applied the hair milk that way. So at that point, the only product that I hadn't applied was the edge control. So once my hair was sectioned off and I had the edge control going throughout it and I brushed it all out and it had a little bit of texture to it, I would braid the first maybe like inch of my own hair just so I would have a starting point. And then once that part was braided and the rest of it was running free, I grabbed the crochet needle, put the crochet needle through the root of my hair and added the two, um, added two pieces of the synthetic hair to the crochet needle and pulled it through my the base of my braid. Okay, so I braid about this much of my hair, just a little, maybe like a thumb worth. And then I take the crochet needle, I'm gonna stick it down at the base of the braid and put two pieces of hair, two pieces of the added hair, hook it onto here and then pull it through like that. The first couple of braids I did just one strand of added hair and they're pretty thin. So I'm going to continue doing two strands. I put a little bit of edge control just at the base of the hair where the loop is where I'm going to connect it to the crochet hook just to keep it a little more tame. And then I kind of twist it like this so it's easier to hook onto the crochet hook. So taking the crochet hook, I'm going to put this at the base of my braid of my actual hair. I don't know if I can get it on camera, but I will try. Okay, so I have the hook here, and now I'm going to grab the two strands of added hair together. Put it on the hook. And pull it through. And now that I have this loop here, I'm going to open up the loop and so here's all of it. I'm going to take two, like half of it, and pull it through the loop. Hopefully you guys can see, but I am doing videos on Passion Twist and I'm not a pro, so this is just me sharing my beginner experience. So if you want to see it more detailed, then definitely check out another video. <laughs> And then I just pull it tight like that. And I feel like the tighter and the closer your hands are to the twist, the better the twist comes out. So you see how I'm keeping my hands as tight to the actual twist part as possible. 
because in the couple, first couple of braids, I was not keeping it tight. And that makes the twists really loose. And they're naturally gonna loosen up when you let this part go anyway. As long as it took me to do as a beginner, um, the one product or two products I say are super, super important with braiding or twisting the hair. Number one is you really need a good edge control because this was such a lifesaver for me lasting all five days. Like if you watched my ACL Music Festival vlogs and you saw that a portion like towards the end when I'm saying, oh yeah, we're done for the festival and I'm getting out of the elevator, you can see all the frizziness from the synthetic hair and the twist, but my roots are perfectly fine. Like my roots are still laying down, they don't look fuzzy or anything, my edges look fine, and it is 100% because of this Cavani virgin hair edge control. This is a very strong hold and I love it. I use it for everything now. The other thing that I would use is a really good hair milk. Um, in the video I used the ORS moisturizing hair lotion because that is what my mom had and I forgot to pack this one. But I would apply a little bit more of the hair milk than I did. I think as I was going through my twist and I was getting kind of tired, I focused a lot on the roots and I didn't focus so much on throughout you know the rest of my hair and I do think that I should have added more of the hair lotion and that would have helped with all of the frizziness towards the end of the festival so I did my hair on Wednesday slept overnight went to Austin on Thursday slept overnight and then the footage that I'm showing you now is how it looked on that Friday so like day two I believe because I forgot to film the outro of hey guys I finished my hair this is how it looks fresh out the you know fresh out of the process and the night the huge bonnet that I picked up from Amazon was a huge lifesaver I will sleep with a scarf on and it'll be off the next day like I'm not I don't know it just doesn't work for me so I have to do like a silk pillowcase or some type of bonnet that has a very strong hold and I was worried about the bonnet not being large enough for my twist and this one was large enough it was like an extra large bonnet it stayed on my head perfectly it got a little bit um tight towards the back of my hair where the nape was so it was kind of um I was ready to take it off by the time I woke up but the point is that it was large enough and secure enough where I didn't have any problems with my you know waking up and my bonnet was off which was excellent so I definitely recommend picking that up as well okay you guys so I know this vlog is very casual and laid back I didn't do like a full sit down video but I did want to talk about some of the takeaways and things that I've learned because I will do passion twists again um, I wanted to share some of my like hindsight 2020 type of things and things that I've learned. So number one is don't pay to get passion twists done because they will get messy regardless. Now I did not pay because like I said my music festival was three days long and I think the vacation that I had the passion twist in was only going to be about five days because I had to go back to work and take them out. So I uh, did not want to pay somebody to do my hair only for me to wear it for five days. And even in doing it myself and even in watching other girls get it professionally done, it does, it's synthetic hair so and it's twists, it's not braids, so they're not going to be as secure and sturdy as a braided hairstyle will be. It's, it's a twist. It can unravel, which it will. It can get tangled because of the synthetic hair, which it will, and it can get frizzy, which it will. Granted, like I said, I do think if you use the more of a hair lotion than I did, I don't think I used enough hair lotion throughout my hair. That can kind of help with some of the frizziness, but it's not going to get rid of it completely. I would rather spend my time doing it myself and be annoyed that it's frizzy than pay somebody and then be annoyed that it's frizzy, you know? So I would not pay to get it done. Number two, um, it is very important to use the correct hair products. I am so glad that I used edge control <laughs> because I was almost going to use the hair lotion and gel only, but the gel that I use doesn't have, it has more of a flexible hold because I use it for my curly hair. Um, and the edge control that I used was strong. So that was the lifesaver of my hairstyle. It was the lifesaver in keeping my roots down, keeping my edges down, keeping that base part of my hair pretty good to go. And my frizziness really was just coming from the, the frizziness was really just coming from, you know, the rest of the braid. So get a good edge control. Um, and also use more hair lotion than I did. Number three, I think we're on. I want to do five. My number three would be to not touch your hair or style it very often, if ever. 
As you can see from my music festival vlog, all I did each time, just because I don't like hair on my face, I pulled the front two twists out and just clipped them back so they were kind of out of my face and out of the way, and that's literally it. I wanted to do the half up, half down with the cute little bun and then the rest of it being down, but I didn't want to manipulate the hair too much because for one, it gets tangled easily and it frizzes easily, and I was outdoors all day for three days. So with that in mind, I just didn't want to touch it a lot, and that was a really good call because it still ended up getting frizzy, but imagine had I you know did all the manipulation so because the, the the style is kind of fragile and it's just waiting to get chaotic so try to keep the styling to a minimum or if you're going to style it leave it for those last couple of days when you are about to take the hair out and do not do it on the first day because you are only shortening the lifespan of your hair number four I think I kind of said this already during the process, but the number four tip is to allot yourself more time than you would think that it would take to do the hair. Like I mentioned, I started in the late afternoon. Had I known it was going to take me longer than the average person because I'm a beginner with, you know, adding hair and stuff, I would have started early, early, early in the morning because I needed to take pictures the next day, so I had to have it done the next day. Um, I would have started in the morning, and I didn't. I started in the afternoon, and I was it went well into the nighttime. So definitely allot yourself more time than necessary. And if you can, enlist help. My sister came home and assisted me for a little bit, but she had to go back. So I did end up spending a lot of time on it. But if you are able to get somebody in your family that's willing to sit there and kind of help you get it started or you get it started and they just kind of help you twist it out, definitely do that. And my last one, my last tip now that we're talking about the twist itself is I don't think I mentioned in the process but you have to twist very very close and very very fast not very very fast but fast you can't just move kind of slow because it's similar to how you would normally think of any type of twist if you're going to twist something and you twist it loosely it's going to unravel really really fast but if you kind of twist them tight together and you do short little urgent twists it sticks a bit better so just keep that in mind when you are twisting your hair. All right, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I just wanted to talk about my passion twist experience, share the products I use, and share my takeaways now that it's been about, you know, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, since I did the passion twist. And would I do them again? Absolutely. Would I pay to get them done? No. Why? Because they will not hold up as long as I would want them to hold up to pay somebody to do it. So you can absolutely do it yourself. I am a beginner. Yes, it took me a lot longer, but it did turn out just fine. Um, I did learn some things along the way that I will incorporate for the next time. But I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this kind of more casual, laid-back style. I know it's a little bit different when I normally do sit-down videos. It's a little more formal, and I'm in my living room and with my um, DSLR camera. But I am trying to get back in the swing of things with filming and I am filming in the capacity that I can so it is a little bit more casual and laid back because I'm putting a lot of energy into my blog and prepping for school and going to work and doing all that stuff so thank you guys for watching the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye